A Have clash a between automobile spare parts dealers and workers of a private developer at Aveno here in Accra is said to have led at least two people injured. The clash Wednesday morning is said to have started after the spare parts dealer stormed a piece of land being developed by the company in a bid to stop the project because they said ownership of the land was in dispute. The police had to be called in to restore order and the joint newspaper Nuno was at the site and has come through with this report. It's around 12.30 here um, at Aveno, where we're told that there's been some fights that's been happening. Uh, some private residents and driver association uh, have actually engaged in a brawl of sort. Uh, if you can see behind me, that's a vehicle that uh, actually got burnt, has been touched by some of uh, the men involved in the confusion. What we are told happened today is that this morning, uh, some persons came to start building or putting at some development on the land that you can see here. Now, this land is actually the center of the confusion. The land and the building thereof is said to be owned by the GPRTU Tipa Track Union that is within Aveno here. And there's also a private developer who maintains that he has also bought the land and has rights to develop on it. The case, we understand, is in court. But um, the private developer or owner, we are told, was here this morning with his men to see to it that some development continues over here. And so following from that, the association and residents who claim ownership also of this space and the land decided to come in and then engage them, following from which the confusions happened. And then one thing leads to the other, they engage in a brawl. Uh, it started yesterday. Actually, our chairman even went uh, to police headquarters to report that they should stop them because uh, there's injunction on the building, you understand. Uh, they invited him there. When you say him, who do you mean? Uh, uh, Tairu, the one who claimed that he bought this whole parcel of land. You understand. In front of the police yesterday, he told them that he will stop. You understand. And the case you're saying is before court. Isn't it still in court? We are going to court on the 28th. And so the court's injunction is that no one should do no anything. No one should do anything. You understand? So yesterday we said, ah, why? So we wanted to confront them, but our chairman calls us back. That he is still trying to pursue, follow the right channel. You understand? Until this morning, we saw that, yes, still, still working. So we say no, we can't accept it. We have to confront them to stop. The confusion uh, seems to be a bit fluid, but uh, some calm has been restored with the presence of the police. One of the factions are saying that um, the land behind that we can see there um, has an injunction placed on it, preventing everybody from uh, going on with any form of construction. But the second group also says that the court injunction uh, says they are allowed to proceed with any form of development? Uh, the spare parts dealers, that is the openness. Uh, some of them, not all of them, some of them, there are few, not much. It is those people who came and they wanted to bring fight. They wound two of our guys. Now they are serious injury at hospital. Okay. So in the morning, around what time did they come, what did the fight start? Around 8 going to 9 o'clock. Uh, that, at that time that they started. Okay. With cutlasses, Everything we don't we don't we, we don't know why they were bringing with fire burning everything. Can't you see they have burned our our, our building? You, all this thing it is those people who burned them. We didn't we we, we were not allowed to burn because the place belonged to us. We I, I went I went there trying to find out what happened and they are claiming that there's an injunction that not, nobody should do anything on this building and so they are worried that someone is doing something. That's why they also came to find out what's happening. The injunction said they, should, they shouldn't come near the building, not us. Okay. It is we, we are the, the plaintiff and they are the complainant. Okay. We send the case to court and the court give us permission to do anything. They are the complainant, we are the plaintiff. So the court cares them not to come here. The court give them injunction not to come, not us. ACP George Chinabua, yes. also known as ACP Nana Chinabua Sasraku II. NCP, we we got information about some tension happening here. You have been on the ground. What have you um, ascertained so far? Well, we're called by our control team that 
There were some burnings at the at the greater station at Averno. We proceeded with two teams of uh, water cannons. And when we came, we realized there are some ties and parts, sports car spare parts have been packed together and bent at three or four different locations. A vehicle was also on fire, so we used our water cannons, the water you need to be able to put off the fire. The main challenge was one that was close to um, an electricity pole, but we were able to put that one off. And when we went into it, it looks like there's some construction going on there, and one Alaji Tahiru is the person who is constructing it. The case has been ongoing between him and the residents, and it's been resolved at the Kaneshi police station. I think the case is in court. So today, whilst they came here to do work, the residents did not allow them to do the work, and that brought attention and the burning of things. Uh, both parties, the builder and the leaders of the guys who attacked have been invited to the Kanashi uh, police station. The divisional commander and these commanders are the, here, so they will take it up from there. Uh, so far, we haven't heard of any individual who got hurt during the clashes, but we met a vehicle um, that was on fire. So we had to put that uh, fire off first, and we attacked the other fires. Um, there wasn't any much damage to property, except that there were some food uh, vendors whose food had been spilled. Mm. Three of the residents here say a few of their colleagues or friends have been moved to the hospital. Can you confirm this? I can confirm that if they went before we came in, fine. But nothing of that sort has come to our notice. Okay. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. Thank you, ACP. Uh, this issue is not ended yet. Uh, Maxwell Agwaba is on the ground this morning. But uh, let me introduce to you my guest in studio because we've heard one side uh, of the story. Chief Subri Laman is a GPRT member and he is in the story. You see that they're referring to a private developer. He is actually the private developer in the, in the midst of this. Uh, Chief, good morning to you. Good morning. Uh, Mr. Musa Bobakaro. Uh, who is also a member of the GPRT, I would love for you to put the, because you're trying to show me some ed evidence, but if you can just put the sound off for me. Okay. So what you've captured is, as things unfolded yesterday, exactly. the, the very beginning. Okay. Uh, what's the story, really? Is there dispute over this particular land? Oh, I can say no dispute, because why no dispute? There's nothing in courts? No, they, I'm coming. Okay. We are the GPRTU. We're there since 1983. And then there was a time that these paper dealers started coming to contact us to stay there and sell some of their parts with our trucks. So we allowed them to stay. With your trucks? Please explain. To buy their parts and repair our trucks. Okay. So we get to a point that they have to seize the whole place. So some of our drivers have to live there because of uh, the, their structures, the kiosks and the other but things. But were you taking money from, from them? No. Were you renting the place out No, to them? no, no. But the, was there any documentation in terms of agreement? Did you sign any documents? Yes. After then, when the AMA came for the, the demoration, after the demolition, mm. we ride to Ghana. So this is what year? That's two years ago. Okay. We rode to Ghana Railway Corporation for development of the place. So I think they give us. So this land belongs. Is it? Does it belong to the Ghana Railway Corporation yes. or it belongs to the GPRC? It here? belongs to Ghana Railway Corporation. Okay. And then they you they gave it. To, you know, to, to you. Here, you see whatever is there. Maybe I sh shouldn't make any mistake. I mean, it's such a short time. I've seen a receipt from the Ghana Railway Development Corporation, but I certainly can't read the entire document. Thank you. So you have to give me the brief. So they, they gave the land to you. They gave it to us to devote. So we went and... Was it a gift or you, uh, you paid you some say money gift, for it? If you say gift, that's why you said you saw a receipt. But I can't tell exactly what the receipt is for. The receipt is for lease agreement. Okay. For how long? Between the GPRTU, Chief Sugurulaman, and then 
the railway. Okay. For how long? 21 years period. Okay, but that has not expired. That has not expired. Okay. When was this agreement signed? I think this agreement signed in the, the date this year. Okay. 2017. 20, oh, just this year? No, this is the receipt. It's 2016. Rather. Okay. So, yeah. la so, okay. All right. So, last year. So, you yeah. sign agreements. They give their land to you. Yes. So Meanwhile, you had these spare parts dealers uh, and mechanics on, on, on the land. Exactly. Okay. I'll come to that issue. Mm. So, when we approved the land, we went to enjoy our plan. Then we went to environmental protection. We follow all the channels. What were you going to, what, what kind of structure are you thinking of putting the up on this land? The structure is a shop because we are now doing a new modern bus terminal. That's why I wanted you to go through the documents. Okay. I'll have time to do that after, yeah. the, after the conversation. Yeah, we're doing mm. a new modern terminal and we are trying to put a stop. Okay. So anybody who was there and want to be healed, we are ready to heal that field. So these people said, no, they won't understand. They want to build it forever and ever for their own property. Okay. So from then we went to a CRD headquarters, fraud unit. So they came in and then called them, bring all documents that you people have. When was this, last year or this year? I think that was last year. Okay. So when they called them, they have no any documents. So the CRD unit advised them that if you don't have any document, you don't have to be attacking our workers. As I'm talking to you, two people are very serious injured. They are in the hospital. From the clashes yesterday. They, like I'm sitting, you just come and be beating me. I will be wounded. Let me, let me ask uh, Mr. Abubakar, how did it happen yesterday? I mean, was this something that your members, including yourself, perhaps did? No. I was in the office because I'm the secretary to the GPRTU. So yesterday, I was in the office around 9 to 10 o'clock that way. I just saw them, they pop in, more than 40 people. I, we, I even locked the door, I was inside the office doing my things. So they break the doors, then they came in, they rushed me, they beat me, but I managed to penetrate in their midst, then run away. So when I ran away, I saw that the building that we are doing had been set fire. I can see smoke. I said, ah, what is happening? I said, I have to go to the building. So now when I went to the building, I saw that they put off petrol and this, and then they set up the fire. And I saw one of our workers there, they put tie, car tie on his neck. Then they pour petrol on him, they want to burn him. Then I said, no. Then I called our boys and said that they should not allow this thing to happen. So they should rush them. Then we rushed them. Then they ran away. This way, this man goes. I said, no, I can't take this thing to grant it. So I have to call this our boss. Then I called him and said, ah, chief, this is what is happening. He said, yeah. Then I narrated everything to him. Mm. But perhaps something happened the previous day or two days before because they couldn't just come from nowhere yeah. on Wednesday morning and just start let, let me pause. to if attack you. Know, let me pause. Something can, that was two days ago. Okay. When we were working, they called us to the police station, central police station. So we went there and the police asked us, what is the issue? We took the court order and the court ruling to the police. So when they saw it, they advised them that you are under court injunction. You are not supposed or right to enter there. If you want to stop them work, you better go back to the court. So you, you took this issue to court? You, say, we you, took, you took the issue to court? Because the CRD headquarters were not able to settle. Okay. So they directed the case to court. Okay. So we well, went to court. All right. Uh, I'll come back to you. But what we want to do this morning, because my colleague Maxwell Agbagba, uh, is uh, at this location. We want to see what has been happening this morning. So, Maxwell, good morning. Uh, what have you found out? What is happening this morning? Do you see any mechanics or spare parts dealers, any members of the GPRTU on site? Okay, we don't have Maxwell yet, but when we do, we're going to cross over uh, to him. So, you still use this location as a, as a terminal? 
This is a terminal since 1983. Okay. It's not today. So is it a taxi or chocho? -cho? No, it's a trucks and bus terminal. Trucks and bus, and bus terminal. Okay. So where would you be boarding a bus to from this particular terminal? I think uh, now that we are putting the bus structures, mm -hmm. maybe we'll be running all over in the country. But for now, where are you going? Oh, for now we are here to maintain the place. And we are so this place is not in use? The GPRT is not we, using the place yet. We is that correct? We the cars to maintain the place. That's why the place is like that. Okay. Okay. I mean, so what's going to happen now? Where are we? You went to oh, the police it, yesterday. Yeah, yesterday went to the police. I think this morning they are coming to do the arrest. They're coming to cause arrest this morning? Yes, because of their misconduct. If the court is sustaining you, you don't have to tell us you don't respect the court. But during the clashes yesterday, they couldn't make arrests. I wonder what kind of arrest they can make it the morning after, no, when everything has know, died down. We know the leaders, okay. those who led them to come and do That's why I wanted to show you this photo. Mm, all right, let me just touch base with my colleague Maxwell. Uh, we want to, Maxwell, tell us what's been happening this morning. What have you witnessed? Hello, Maxwell? Uh, what, well, Mamavi? Um, uh, it's an easy count. Um, yeah, hello, Mamavi. Can, can you hear me? Yes, I can, Maxwell. Go ahead. Hello, Mama V. Okay, so that's on easy calm uh, here when it comes to Avena, specifically um, the articulated um, track station uh, very close to um, Avena. Now, um, coming here, we've seen about two, uh, we've seen two police crowd control vehicles um, belonging to the formed police unit, that's the FPU police. Um, you can see one right behind me. There's also another one right across the street, strategically positioned at a place very close to where some of the spare parts, um, you know, dealers who also happen to be um, a faction uh, in, in this ongoing you know feud uh, here now behind me also are some gentlemen who are carefully seated around that place sort of you know giving protection to um, uh, the property that we're talking about uh, here they are seated there just having discussions amongst um, this, themselves but I have one of them here with me um, he's gonna tell us exactly what the situation you know has been like he's um, on the side of the private developer and he says he deems it necessary uh, you know to, prov uh, to protect the property here on the ground so what's your name Masaudi Seydou sir Tell me, um, what exactly happened, you know, yesterday okay. when you were sitting here? Yes, sir. Yesterday morning, the uh, Masa here no correct. The way the Wala people come out for us here, and guns, AK, pump and guns. You're, you're talking about the spare parts dealers? Spare parts dealers and the Wala people. The way they attack us and, and cut ties. If it's just looking for the front self and look here, if it started to bend, bend. And beat us, we ran away, leave them because they're the only weapons. We will not get nothing to fight for them. They started to spoil everything for us. They start to burn, burn the road top or the put put ties. They said they will feed us because we do the follow law. If we call GVC, make it do our work. If it's a court law, to which will they take do. You know, with the court law, we will not go to take our, our distance, say we'll get uh, money, say we'll go do work. So we will follow the court. But yesterday morning, the way that they come to you know, we will not go to stand look them. Mm. Now we will run and we leave them. Now they start to burn, burn our place. If we just take the camera and spy my, my brother's buildings and go there and see the buildings, they, they support our yesterday and sack them. They, they burn all go. Look the about the car too. If it them knock knock, the bullets be that. Master, look this car. Master, I bet look this car. If it them knock us bullets like that. Guns. The jiva jiva take here. Wallah, Master. So we run away. We will not feel stand safe. Before they bring police people, they bring police people here say they want peace. Like we there, we will not go grieve for them. The peace come, no, they we too talk. We say we they look peace. 
officers there, yeah, we're not going to pick and commit some any... Okay, um, I'll come to you shortly. Yes, um, But I have also with me um, here Inspector uh, Osman yes, um, Yakubu. He's the commander for the formed police unit on the yes, ground sir. here. He's going to tell us um, what they have observed so far. They've been on the ground since uh, morning. Inspector, tell us, what have you observed? You've been here since, um, since dawn? Since dawn, uh, since around 6 o'clock, we're here. Mm. When we reported duty this morning, mm. our commander told us to come here and change our colleagues who were here yesterday. Mm. That yesterday there was some misunderstanding here between two parties who were fighting. So our colleagues are here, we should come and change them. So we came this morning to release them. And since we were here since in the morning, we didn't see any uh, misunderstanding okay, again. You want to speak up a little bit for us? Uh, since this month, since we are we are here, we are here. We didn't see any any confusion again since in the, since we are we, are, we reported here in the morning. Mm. Everybody, they are all going on with their normal duties. The only group group and they are standing, but we don't hear anything from them. Mm. So as at now, the situation here is cool and calm. It's cool and calm. Yeah. Now you've mounted um, some barricades here. I've seen about um, you know three you know of them. What really necessitated those barricades? That happens yesterday, when the fight was going on. Our commander were here. They mounted them, so we come to meet them. We come to meet those barricades, mm -hmm. and we can also see from our eyes uh, the burning ties by the barricades. Maybe when it was happening before the. They, 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 um, they put the barricades there to stop them. Mm -hmm. We were not here actually yesterday. Okay. Uh, but do you think you have you know, enough uh, you know, logistics to, you know, um, to control the situation here? I see about you know, 20 of your men, all of them in bulletproof you know, vests, all of them you know, well armed. But I want to find out if you think you, you, know, you have the needed logistics to control if should things you know, escalate again. Oh yeah, we have all the logistics to control in case of any rights. We've, we've armed with our, uh, the, the, the cars we use, have, we use them to control rights. The water cannons, we can stand at distance, far distance and control riot from far away. Uh -huh. And then also use our breast. In case of, it's, 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 it's the use that we should go inside that. We can also go inside with our breast food and uh, our, the, what we can with our, our, our hands without the cars to. So we are ready uh, to protect life and properties at any time. Yeah. Well, I'm not a security expert, uh, you know. Um, I mean, when I came here, I could cut the tension in the air with a knife. I'm, I know you would disagree with that. Mm -hmm. But tell me, how long are you going to stay here to manage the situation? Mm. Do you have any idea? Well, as we started since yesterday, my people, FPU, FPU will be here till... Any time we ask to be uh, to withdraw, we were running 24 hours every day. Okay. Uh -huh. As we came to change yesterday, 24, mm. we too will be here tomorrow. We'll be changed again, mm. continue until the the tensions uh, there's understanding okay. before we were asked to withdraw okay. or something like that. Uh -huh. okay. Okay. So now we don't know actually when are we going to leave here okay. uh -huh, until the tensions off. So it's, uh, it's uncertainty, you know, for um, Inspector Osman Yakub. He's the commander of the Foreign Police Unit, FPU um, unit here on the ground, trying to, you know, manage um, the situation. But finally, uh, before we go, my friend, uh, are you willing, you know, um, to dialogue with um, the spare pass dealers? I mean, if they come extending an olive branch to you, are you ready to do that? I don't understand your English. Uh, before I don't go to school, you say what? Yeah. Uh, are you ready to, I mean, to make peace um, with, you know, the people? Uh, we we, we, we that peace already. Because we we'll go court. Court say make it don't fight, make it do our work, make it don't fight for them. If it they fight for them, they fight for we. And they spoil our properties. They not get nothing yet to spoil. See, look here, if it them destroy us. Before the uh, police people go come around. Okay. You understand me? Yeah. Like you know we say police people come, can't stop, like yesterday you're not correct. Like you go take you to New Plan Station, you go spoil all. But the way the police people come, we two will not say law today. No one want to kill, kill each other. If it's so true, we two follow the law and want the peace. Make it help us, you all get the peace. Okay.
and all the soccer of the pe fight will come here. We all will come to thank you. Thank you very much. Job goal. Thank you very much. Um, so, Mamavi, when you come here on the ground, um, the violence has actually left in its trail a um, lot of destruction. I mean, you when you walk on the streets, you can see um, you know black suits and they are remnants of the burnt ties. Um, here, you know, on the ground, we understand about 10 ties were actually burnt on the streets. But when the police came in, um, you know, they had to douse the flames. Even when they attempted dousing the flames, some of the people still came back to, you know, uh, to set another set of ties, you know, alight here. Mm. But today they are here um, trying to manage the situation. And I've seen um, the police uh, commander here trying to, you know, one on one conversations with um, some of the young men who have gathered here today spoiling for a fight. He's, he has been telling them actually that they should cool down, they should come to us, and they are here to actually um, manage the situation. So when you come here, it's a bit of an easy camp. Mm. A police officer right. tells us that um, they are controlling the situation. We okay. are hopeful that that will be the case. All right. Uh, thank you very much, Maxwell Agbagba, uh, with what's happening right now. Uh, at this Aveno location where there were clashes there yesterday. I've got Chief Subaru Laman and uh, Mr. Musa Abubakar, who are both uh, with the GPRT. But Chief Sugri is the private developer. He's the one who's developing this land. He's handed to me an order of interlocutory injunction. This was given uh, this year in 2017. The exact dates uh, on it is 14 June 2017. Just read uh, really, real quick. Uh, it is hereby ordered that, uh, and this is between uh, Suguru Lama of Kisima, New Achimota, uh, the deponent hearing filed on the 8th day of February 2017, and supplementary affidavits of Kwame Amwako, um, ESQ, Fourth Floor, Emerald House, uh, Goa Road, Accra, for and on behalf of applicants hearing and filed on 17th March 2017. Essentially, what is this saying, this order, is that the defendant, respondent, by themselves assigns uh, privy servants and workmen and all people claiming through defendants association be restrained from entering, interfering and dealing in any manner whatsoever with plaintiff of applicants, workmen pending the final determination of the matter. Uh, given under my hand and the seal of the High Court of Justice Accra this 14 June 2017, uh, Isa Hakumusa. Uh, is the registrar who signed this. So this is uh, uh, an order that's been given pending a final determination of the matter, which means it's not over. When are you going back to court, Raji? Okay, court, I think we'll be going to two months time. In two months? Two months. This is August, so August. September, October? September, October. You're going back October, in October. October. What's the expectation for that court appearance? Okay, the expectation is they are now waiting for them to bring their defense. Since when we went to court, they don't bring anything they come to say verbally. Mm. So the, if you read the court ruling, you see all what we have exhibited to the okay. court. So what's the way forward, really? Because these are people who are also earning their daily bread from the same location. We are not sucking them. All what we want them to know, we want to develop the place and give them part of the stores to live. We call them in meetings more than 10 times. Even with my lawyer, with their lawyer, we call them. Did meeting. they show up? They show up, but they said they are not interested. They want to build it forever for their children. Okay. So what's going to happen now? We, we are every day waiting for any dialogue. You know, before doing this permit, whatever, is money. So you can come and say you are going to use it freely. And this is what they are requesting. They don't want to contribute anything. Mm. They want to build freely. So they also want the same land to put up their own structures. This is what they are trying to say without any document. Mm, but how much were you going to be renting the... The, the stores. Yes. We, 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 we didn't discuss any price yet. We didn't okay. disclose because it's a we meeting. Finish. Union. Mm -hmm. What's the plan? When, when are you finishing the project? What we were trying to do is that we told them that if you people want to live with us, get patient. After the development, we're going to do some shops that can be very smaller and then maybe up to 6,000 uh, 6, cities or 5,000 to enable them to obtain in the stores. But they said no, they mm. don't want to be healed. So what was the Ghana Railway Company uh, saying about all these? Because they are the 
they own the land, really. Yeah, because we listed it from them now. For now, I can say the land is under our control because we've listed from them. Okay, so but they haven't said anything after no, all we haven't this. No, we have to tell them something after mm. we give them a letter. So on a daily basis, what happens on yeah. this, uh, at this place? You see the the GPRC really is not doing any work in terms of, you're not using the place we as can a bus terminal. No, we are using it as bus terminal, but because they have brought old cars and uh, structures, these structures like tent, tapoli, and other things there. So we can't park our cars. We have to park them on the street. Okay. Uh, Ms. Amubaka, are you, because you said you were beaten yesterday, did you make any personal report to the police? Uh, well, I made a personal report at Connection Police Station yesterday. But why? Because I haven't, I'm not injured. So they mm. asked me, how do I feel? I say I'm okay. So there's no They didn't ask you to go to the hospital? Oh, no, because I told them that I'm okay. But I'm wondering, why Kaneshi and not Tesano? No, we are under Kaneshi. Divisional, uh, Kaneshi Div Divisional Commander. Okay. Yeah. But can you identify the people who beat you up? Very well. Did the Destroy our office. Because we are there with them all the time. All what they are doing, and we know the people. I know the people who I mean, they come to the office there. I know all of them. So did the police say that they would go with you to identify them so they cause arrest? Exactly. They said today. Okay. They will cause arrest. Well, if you look at this thing, they have a chairman. The chairman called them and advised them that we have gone to court and we have been injunction and we don't have any paper. So if you people don't want me to go for dialogue, I will resign. So their chairman has resigned. The chairman of the spare party? Yes, yes, because he told them to negotiate because without document, you can't do any work like this. So he resigned. We have the letters from their chairman. Mm. All right. Okay, so, so until the uh, what we need police more reinforcement to, I mean, support peace there and then support the development that mm. going on. This okay. all what we are calling for the police. Mm. But do you do you actually have trust that, for instance, you are saying that you're going to identify these men for them to be arrested? Do you believe that the processes will go through successfully? All will depend by the police if they want the justice to be done, because we have all the documents that shows that we have to be protected by the, I mean, the authorities. Mm. So you can't come and stand empty handed and beat people, burn properties, mm. destroy cars, and go freely. Mm. All right. Uh, I want to say thank you for your time. Maybe thank just you. one final thing. Are you sure none of your members has gone behind you to take any monies from any of these spare no, part dealers? No, no, no. Okay. If they think we, give, we took some money from them, they can bring receipt or something to show, a proof. All right. But something like that hasn't gone between us. Okay. We pray for peace, but we thank you for your time. God yeah, bless this you. This morning. Yeah. Thanks. That's thank Chief uh, yeah. Sugru Laman and uh, Mr. Musa Abubakar. We, this issue is not ended yet, uh, but we have to end our conversation. <laughs>